This video is going to show you how to use the distance grid in MapLine. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come up here to the tools option. We'll click on that and then select distance grid. Once we do that, we'll choose the two data sets that we want to calculate the distance between. So the first one we're going to do is we'll click here and I'm going to choose sales data. And then the second one we will do our crude oil rail terminals and then we can choose whether or not these are sorted by miles kilometers yards meters etc so we'll choose miles and then we'll click OK all right and once we do that we'll see a folder has downloaded and so we'll open up that folder all right and once that folder opens up in Excel we're going to see a lot of stuff going on. So I'll explain what's what. So the first thing we have over here is we have a list of the information from our sales data set. So we have the name of each of the locations, the address, the city, the state, and the zip codes. And then up here on the top we'll have the name, address, city, state, and zip for all of the crude oil rail terminals. And then to be able to find the distance between the two different locations, so in this case we'll choose the location in Ada, Oklahoma, it is 67.93 miles away from the Agnew crude terminal in Oklahoma City. So anytime you want to find the distance between the two you would just look for the intersection of the column and the row and that'll give you the distance between the two locations. And that's how easy it is to use MapLine's distance grid. 